In this problem, we're given the equation of an ellipse, and we're asked to find the vertices, the endpoints of the minor axis, and the foci, and graph it. So in other words, we pretty much <laughs> have to do everything. Um, so let's start by finding the center. So in an ellipse, uh, typically um, when you're looking for the center, the general form would be something like this, x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. That's the case where a is bigger than b, which is what we have here. The 4 is bigger than the 1. So in this case, you can see that the center of this ellipse is 0, 0, because the h and k are not here. It's x minus 0 squared and also y minus 0 squared. In an ellipse, a is always bigger than b, and so a is always the square root of the bigger number. So in this case, the bigger number is 4. So a is the square root of 4, which is 2. And then so b is the square root of the other number. So b is the square root of 1, which is 1. Because the bigger number is under the x, the major axis is said to be horizontal. If it was the case that the bigger number was under the y, then the major axis is vertical. The vertices are the endpoints of the major axis. Okay, again, in an ellipse, a is the square root of the bigger number. Because the bigger number is under the x, the major axis is horizontal. That means it looks like this, okay? If the bigger number is under the y, it's vertical, so it would look different. It would look like an egg standing up. All right, so now I guess we can you know, do a rough sketch of uh, our ellipse. So there's the y-axis and there's the x-axis, so x and y. And the center is 0, 0. And um, this is an ellipse that has a major axis that's horizontal. So we go left and right by a from, from the center. So we'll go left to put a dot, go right to put a dot. So this is the major axis here, this horizontal axis. And then we go up and down by 1. So up 1, down 1. So this would be the graph of our ellipse. So the vertices, let's go ahead and spe specify them completely. Those are the endpoints of the major axis. So it would be uh, the ones on, on this one here and this one here. So that would be negative 2 comma 0 and 2 comma 0. Those would be the vertices. And the endpoints of the minor axis, so of minor axis, that would be this number here, this point there, and this point here. So it'd be uh, 0, 1, and 0, negative 1. That, that, those would be the endpoints of the major axis. So we've got the sketch, we've got the vertices, the endpoints of the major axis. The only thing we need is the foci. So there's a formula that will give us the foci. The formula is c squared equals a squared, and then here's the trick. It's the other symbol. Okay, there's a plus here. The formula has a minus. You just switch it. So a squared is 4. You see it matches the, the form of an ellipse up here, so 4. Minus, and then b squared is 1. So you just get 3. So we have c squared equal to 3. Take the square root. We get c equals plus or minus the square root of 3. And the key is that the foci lie on the major axis, and they're a distance of c in each direction from the center. So one of them will be over here, and one of them will be over here. These yellow dots would be the foci. So those yellow dots are a distance of a square root of 3 uh, from, the from the center. So the foci in this case would be um, negative root 3, comma 0, and then root 3, comma 0. These would be the foci. Right, plural for focus. And there's two of them, right? There's one here and there's one here. And you know it's like this. You know it's the x. You know the x has the c because it's on the major axis, right? So that's why you know to put the c as the x coordinate. If it was like this, uh, then the foci would be here and here, and then you would put the c in, in the y coordinate. So that's why it's important to know like where they are, okay? They're on the major axis, so you're going to go left and right by c. Um, that's it. I hope this video has been helpful.